Hello friends, welcome again. This is the session 15 in the SQL playlist and in the session 14, that is the previous session, we talked about row number. In this session, we will talk about rank and dense rank, which are related topics when we compare it with the previous session. So if you have not checked session 14 on row number, I would suggest that please check that and then you can visit this session. So let me proceed. Consider we have an employee table. We have talked about it earlier. We have few columns. The column that we are interested in is the salary column. And we have some insert statements and we are inserting the records. This again goes in line with what we have done in the previous session. So if you have not checked, please have a look. Now you remember we ran this row number query where we said select first name, last name, salary, comma row number, okay, over order by salary descending order. That means when we are using row number, we should be using the order by. Ordering is mandatory, then only the row numbers are assigned starting from one, right? And even if there are duplicates in this salary, still it will end up assigning a different row number in sequential order. That means it do not consider duplicates that way. Let me run this and show you just for your quick recap. So I have the create table insert statements and I am running the select query where I am using row number. We have seen this earlier, but let me still run this. And we can see that how exactly the results look like. You can see that Rahul Dravid has a salary of 20,000. Shane Vaughan has a 12th salary of 20,000. Both of them are duplicates because the salaries are same, but still randomly it ended up assigning row number three and four, right? So this is the challenge that Ideally, we should use row number when there are no duplicates. When there are duplicates, then how does it make sense that, okay, Chain Wong's salary is third highest and Rahul Dravid's salary is fourth highest. Does it make sense? No. They both have same salary. Then it should have been that if I ask third highest, both of them should have been listed ideally. So that is why we have other things or other functions like rank and dense rank. Because row number do not solve this problem of duplicates. It cannot handle duplicates properly. So that is where we will see how to use rank and dense rank. So let me just move all of this down. And what I will do is I will make two copies of it. In the first, we have used row number. In the second, let me use rank. And in the third, let me use dense rank. I'm trying to use all the three and I will show you how does the results differ. So let me just copy these two also and put it here. And now try running it. Again, remember just like row number, when we use row number, order by is mandatory. Similarly for rank and dense rank. Order by is mandatory. Partition by is optional. Because until we do the ordering, then what's the point of assigning a rank or row number or dense rank, right? So it is mandatory. So let me run this now. And let us see the results. So this is the result of row number where you can see that each row is assigned a different row number. Even when there are duplicates, it's assigning a different row number. That means row number does not add much value when we have duplicates. Talking about rank. So you can see that the first row or the highest salary is assigned the rank of one. The second highest is assigned a rank of 2 and you see 20,000 is assigned a rank of 3. But when there are duplicates, 
it assigned the same rank to that. You can see there are duplicates 20,000 and 20,000. The rank assigned is exactly the same. But now important thing to observe is for the next record, it does not give four. It kind of omits that or it becomes like a hole. That means ideally if we are using row number, this would have been row number five. Same result we will get. That means it will skip some of the rankings when there are duplicates. So you can see ideally this should have been four as per row number. Oh, sorry, this should have been three. This should have been four. And of course, this should have been five. So ideally, we, if we would have used row number, it should have given us five and same result is displayed. So only when there is a duplicate, then same ranks are assigned and it leave holes in between. And when we talk about dense rank, as the name suggests, it won't skip anything. So for example, we get one for the highest salary, two for the second highest, three for third highest. And when there is a duplicate, again, the behavior is same as rank. That means we are assigning the same number or same dense rank to the thing. And after that, for 15,000, it does not skip the next one, right? It assigns four. So that means it won't skip any rankings or there are no holes in this. The numbers are densely aligned. Think it this way if you want to remember. But in case of rank, of course, it skips some of the ranks. I hope this is clear. One thing to note, if this data set has no duplicates, then row number, rank and dense rank lead to similar results without any change. So if there are no duplicates, then the results with row number, rank and dense rank will be the same. I'll write it here. So if there, if there are, if there are no duplicates, then rank, sorry, row number, rank, and dense rank lead to similar results. Only difference comes, only the difference comes when there are duplicates. When there are duplicates, row number of course is not recommended because it does not handle that situation well and we should be using rank and dense rank. When we talk about rank, uh, for duplicates, same rank is assigned and the next entry and for the next entry, for the next entry, it skips the ranks. That means ideally it's the same scenario as row number what the rank it would have assigned for the next non-duplicate entry. I mean, theoretically it's hard to convey, but I hope with that example, it should be clear to you. Think it from example only that when there was a duplicate, same ranks were assigned, but for the next thing, it assigned a rank, which ideally it should have got when we are using row number. That means it skipped, it considered it as four and then it assigns it as five. Let's say you think it this way. But when we talk about dense rank, it does not skip any number, even when there are duplicates. So right, and dense rank, it does not skip any ranks in between. Right, so this is how you need to remember. Now, for example, you might think, okay, what is a scenario I should use dense rank? Right. So row number is simple that whenever you do not have used duplicates. So whenever, whenever you do not have duplicates, use row number. Okay. But when to use dense rank, actually, it depends on scenarios, ideally. For example, I want to, let's say there is a, uh, 
match there, there is a there is some tournament some tournament and we want to find the top three candidates top three candidates who scored the highest or instead of tournament let me say competition right and top three candidates who scored the highest marks now someone scored 100 another person scored 100 one person scored let's say 98 and another person scored 97 okay and then uh, someone let's say uh, this person scored 97 and then someone scored 96 if i want three candidates who or three top candidates or i want to distribute three prizes i want to distribute or i want to find the top three positions right then what should i do ideally both of them should be first right so rank one will be assigned if you are using dense rank so if you are using dense rank then one will be assigned to them this will be two this will be three right and this will be four if you are using dense rank ideally all of this should be i mean awarded if we have a competition because both of them are first this person is second and these two are third right so if we are using dense rank then these all these five people should be awarded if we are looking for three positions right or top three Th that this person is first but first are two people second is one person and third are two people so it totally depends on your scenario actually right but if you would have used a normal rank here this would be one this would be again one this would be three because of course this would be three it will skip one and this would be what four this would be again four and this would be six right so this would be uh, this is how it would have been so if you really want to award top three people uh, uh, then you could have done 100 198 only this if you are going with rank you would have considered only these rows but if you are going with dense rank you would consider all of these five so it totally depends on your business requirement ideally i hope this is clear so uh, ideally if you can see the other things it works exactly the same way which we have done in row number and all for example in this if we want to find let me remove it so for example let me check where is the duplicate first second third okay uh, fine so consider in this case there is no four but if we want to find that who is the fourth person who came if we are using rank it won't show up but if you are using dance rank it will show up so it depends what you are using and same way just like we have used this query you can use it i will show you logically i think you are clear now i am just showing you various these things uh, let's say i copy it and i say rank where row number equal to four do you feel it will result anything it won't give any result because there is no one with this row number as four as it is getting skipped right so let me just try running it and it won't display anything but when we use dense rank here it will definitely result you can check because none of the ranks are getting skipped in this case so i hope you should be pretty clear and of course you can add the flavor of partitioning which we have done earlier there is no difference partition is optional order by is mandatory and when we use partition for the next partition the rank or dance rank starts with one again so the similarity between the three row number rank and dance rank is 
ऑर्डर बाय क्लॉज इज मैंडेटरी पार्टीशन बाय इज ऑप्शनल राइट एंड फॉर पार्टीशन बाय और व्हेन वी यूज पार्टीशन बाय देन फॉर नेक्स्ट पार्टीशन इट विल स्टार्ट द एंट्रीज फ्रॉम वन इन रो नंबर वी शुड बी यूजिंग वेन एवर वी नो देर आर नो डुप्लीकेट्स एंड वेन देर आर नो डुप्लीकेट्स your row number rank and tens rank will lead to the same results but when we use or when there are duplicates we should use rank or tens rank and rank will leave holes in between it won't be continuous because some ranks will be skipped in case of tens rank none of the rank will be skipped that's how we need to remember this right now uh, idly in my i think uh, last session i talked uh, or, or i use the term temp table idly it's not a temp table it's a derived table if you think logically but we can give any name so for example if i am running this right uh, just let me take it i think one person even got confused there so that's why i'm reiterating it's idly a derived table temp table is the name that we gave to that but does not mean it will make it as a temp table so idly this whatever we say for example this inner query this will basically create a table which is like a derived table so but but the name we have given temp table it's fine name does not convey that oh it will be a temp table temp table is a different concept which we will cover in future sessions so it's actually a derived table and we are using a inner query here right so this is how it is this is quite important from an interview perspective because we should be aware of totally what's the difference between uh, i will just write it here again row number rank and dense rank we should know what's the similarity what's the difference right i think we have covered it in good detail remember one thing if there are no duplicates results from all these three things would be the same if there are duplicates then of course we should be using rank or tens rank but how they behave is in case of ties both of them would give the same number but for the next subsequent record it would basically skip the ranking in case of rank but in case of dense rank it won't skip that's the difference and it totally depends on your business scenario that what you want to use right so with this let's wind up and i hope you like the session do subscribe to my channel if you have not done and i'll be coming up with more interesting videos like this thank you all